from Arlington, Texas. We're live inside Globe Life Field. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Nathan Evaldi. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough oh. situations and get his team back in the dugout. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. 2-2 two -two now. Fights it off, he'll see another. Dude, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. One down, base is empty. Late that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Another one, two. Packs and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And a full countdown. He's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Gets to it on to first. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back at Globe Life Field and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side and now two and two down the line. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Up next for the Rangers, Josh Smith. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. And the right-hander deals. 
Ball, and now it's even up. It's a good take. And a pitch. That's a ball. Okay. Nobody out. Runner at first. In the air, left field. Margot in pursuit. Margot makes the play. That is good. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. It's something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a guy to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, guys get fired up in the dugout, and they want to do the same. Rudder takes off. Right side. As this one sized up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. So now it's the four hole hitter, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely Whoa. one of the best arms of the sport. Simeon off of first with two away. And he walked him. Take your base. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And the batter now, Wyatt Lankford. And a pitch. That smacked on a line to center. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. One runs in. Here's the throw. And he's out. Up, down, and that ends the inning. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We head to the second in Arlington. It's the Rangers one and the Twins nothing. Top of the second, down the third baseman, Jose Miranda. Jose Miranda. And here it comes. Swings through that one out in front that time. Swings and misses, struck him out. This is Willie Castro. Kicks and deals. Popped in the air, left field. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab. Two up, two down. That is it. The second baseman. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And that's too high. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. And another ball. The Twins trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Here's Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. One left for Minnesota. Still behind by a count of one to nothing.
Back in Arlington. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Third baseman. It's in and out of his glove. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Jonah Heim getting ready to hit. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One out, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Now at the plate, Travis Jankowski. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Leody Tavares. Jankowski off of first with two away. Jankowski on the run. Pitch misses in. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. We play two full. It's the Rangers one, and the Twins nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Now batting Max Kepler. Kepler. Swings through that one. One, two. And a ground ball to first. Low takes it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Batting up. The center fielder, Austin Martin. Austin Martin, the next twin up to hit. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Well, a well-thrown splitter is going to do exactly that. Get you off balance thinking it's a fastball. Very similar to a changeup, but oftentimes a split's going to have even more downward movement with more velocity. Good pitch. So the batting order turns over, and here is Manuel Margot. That's ball off three. the mark, and that's ball three. Two outs, base is empty. And that's ball too ball. high, ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Two outs. Into center and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. 
So two down. Here's Royce Lewis. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And another ball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. And there's a ball. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Jose Miranda in the on-deck circle. Yeah. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Twin strand of pair. They still trail 1-0. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Ball, no. Three, one. And the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. And now it's three and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. That's out to center field. Martin has it sized up. And there's one down. Next to hit, Josh Smith. pitch this one popped up Santana under this one and makes the grab that's out number two up next for the Rangers the first baseman Nathaniel Lowe, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit It's even up. And they'll do it again. Left hand batter waits. Full count. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That ball's carrying. And it's off the wall. And that's a two-out double. He was all over that one. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Man at second here with two away. And now Adolis Garcia. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. One left for Texas, but they're on top, one nothing. And we're back. Start the of the win. fourth. Leading off, the Jose game. Miranda. Jose Miranda. Oh. 
Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Well, these twins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. down on strikes and now one away. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Yeah, the batter now, Kyle Farmer. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Ball. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Miranda stands at first with one out. Ball. And that's down it away. Full count. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Payoff pitch. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So here's Christian Vasquez. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Max Kepler to bat next. And the 3 1. And that's Catch ball, ball four. Take your bait. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. First and second, two down. Now here is Max Kepler tying run in scoring position top half of inning number four. That's yeah. a strike and a count one and two. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Miranda coming around third. The throw is offline and he's in the score. It's 1 1. Well done. Drives in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Austin Martin, the next twin up to hit. Fought off foul. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Two on, two outs. In the air, left field, down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
back at Globe Life Field. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now here is Wyatt Lankford. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Josh Young. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. Now one away. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Pickoff move to first, and he's back safely. Lankford, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is outside. Righty delivers. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Wouldn't Hold chase down. that time. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that change-up as he fouls that fastball back. Swings and sends a rocket to right. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Fifth inning coming up. Tied at one. We go to the top of the fifth. And now for the Twins, Manuel Margot. The pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's 3-2. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Jose LeClaire appears to be getting loose. And a payoff pitch. In the air to left center. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Well, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. And there's two away. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. So up next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. And he deals. That one missed. 
The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stuff doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always seem to have life. Just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Down go the Twins in order. Still tied, 1-1. In Arlington, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder Travis Jankowski. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Left hand hitter waits. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Rudder at first with no outs here. Jankowski on the run. Ball outside. And that's a stolen base, not even close. High throw may have made the difference right there. It's kind of hard to say, though. It's a little tougher for a catcher with a left-handed hitter in the box, and that hitter does not have to move at all to help you out. It just got under the throw, and it took off on him a little bit. Man, it's second. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Pitch. That's a really good take. Marcus Simeon waiting to hit for the Rangers. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now that second baseman. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him any. Runner takes off. Strike in there. Throw to third. Save. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Jankowski stands at third with one gone to the inning. Upstairs. No, this is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. That one is absolutely belted. Martin going back on this one. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. He pulls into second as they jump ahead and run scores. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Rocco Baldelli out of the dugout now, and he's going to make a change. Pablo Lopez gives way, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. Cole Sands comes on now. He's been so good against lefties. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. And the righty deals. Misses outside, two and one. Move to second. Simeon back in. Runner at second here, one gone. 
Swing and a ball lined out towards center. And that's a base hit. Coming around third is Simeon. Throw is offline and he scores. And they take a two-run lead. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. That one well upstairs. And the count's even at two. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Steven Oker, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Richards also throwing. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And the right-hander deals. Got it by him for the K. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. He keeps it down. It's just so tough to put wood on. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Two runs across in the inning. Last half of inning number five. That one just misses. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and that'll do it. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Five innings complete. It's the Rangers three, and the Twins one. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Andrew Heaney. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. Right side, hard hit. He steps on the bag, one up, one down. Now batting the shortstop, Willie Castro. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Willie Castro. Base is empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. And that'll fall for a base hit. No, it's just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now a chance to maybe get creative. Run around the move. And that one lifted in the air center field. He's got it. And there are two outs. Here's Christian Vasquez. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count one and two. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. David Robertson, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Number 87, also getting ready. Rudder takes off. Got him. Swing for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One hit, one left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Rangers three, and the Twins one.
And we're back. And now the DH, Wyatt Lankford. No. Close one doesn't get the call. Two, one. Two and one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Ball. And another ball. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The kicker, number 28. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. The 1-1. One -one. A little out front there as he swings through it. On the ground to third, Miranda. One at second. On a Santana, two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through six full. It's the Rangers, three, and the Twins, one. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Cody Bradford. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Max Kepler at the plate. The right fielder, Max Kepler. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Missed with a changeup. Three and two now. And now the lefty. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Austin Martin will hit next. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. In the air, out towards left center. Tavares tracks it down for the out. Here's Manuel Margot. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. The tying run at the plate. Ball. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. And fouled off. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Tying run at the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. And oh, that yeah. one almost got him. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boot. Back to work. 3-2 now. 
He fouls it off. We'll do it again. With the tying run at the plate, here at the top half of inning number seven. That one looked at the left. Pulls it down, and they're two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, David Robertson. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Now it's going to be Carlos Santana. Kicks and fires. Ball. Two balls. One strike. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two outs. Three, and three. down on strikes. That's the third out. Twins wind up stranding one. Score holds. It's 3-1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Caleb Fieldbar. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a pitch comes up empty. That's strike two. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. And a pitch. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. And Vasquez able to pull it down. The batter, the center fielder, Lee Hody. Tavares. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. Here comes a pitch. In there at the knees, and a count one and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And he can't come up with it. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here is Marcus Simeon. Two-two now. Simeon waits. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Throw into third. He is safe. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. So impressive that he was able to fight off that fastball up and in like that. I mean, he really let it get deep on him as well. That's great bat control. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Pulls it in on the run. And that should get the job done as he tags from third. He's in to score in the sack fly. It's 4-1. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Next up for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. 
Simeon leads off first with two down to the inning. One two now. On its way to the corner. And that lands in no man's land a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Good job to fight that one off. He caught it behind his back to first. Yeah. And that's a nice play to end the inning. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stopped. That was pretty cool. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Royce Lewis. The Twins in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Right-handed reliever. Hit on the curve ball struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Tosses to first. Out. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier okay. enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Castro. And next for Minnesota, Willie Castro. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. That's in the dirt. Tap to first. Low. He takes it on his own. And the Twins go one, two, three. Twins retired in short order. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Trevor Richards gets handed the rock out of the pen. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. The right fielder. Adolis Garcia. And he deals. Fastball for a strike. Off the mark there. Full count three and two. Righty to the plate. This one in the air right field. And Garcia is out. One away. Now back the designated hitter. Wyatt. And next is the designated hitter, Wyatt Lankford. One down, base is empty. Ball, no. Foul ball. Tapped out in front of the plate. Not in time to get him, and the tapper 
turns into an infield single. Boog, he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. So, man aboard. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. The 1 1. Late right. on that fastball. 1 2. Lankford leads off first with one away. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Hops wow. over the wall, that's and that's an automatic double. Oh boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. One away, runners at second and third. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Ball to strike, the pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. That's a base hit, run scores. In there safely. And the lead is up to five. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's the left fielder, Travis Jankowski. The pitch. Grounder might be two. Feed to second, that's one. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Good that they weren't overzealous there. Just take the sure out. Keep the runner out of scoring position. Man at first. So next to hit for Texas, Laoti Tavares. Pickoff throw, Jankowski back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ball. And there's a ball. Now if he's going to steal ball. second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. They take the force out. Play made. That ends the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Through eight full, it's the Rangers six, and the Twins one. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Festa. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So digging in, Kyle Farmer. The second baseman, Kyle Farmer. The 2 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. One down, base is empty. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Line drive. And that's a base hit into left field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Breaking ball was in a decent spot down and in, but he did a really nice job getting to it before it tied him up. So up next, Max Kepler. Left-hand batter waits. And another ball. 3-1. He swings and fouls one off. Man at first, one away.
Next offering popped in the 